welcome back to the Breadway Show. I'm here with the band, the Daphnes. I'm so happy that you guys are on the show. I just have to say because I know people are gonna love watching you play. Um, and this is really exciting for us because we're gonna have the full band with everybody like all hooked up properly, which I usually have a lot of acoustic performances and I really wanted to like take it to the next level when you guys came on the show. So we get to like hear what you really sound like. And I'm very excited about that. It's gonna be super fun. It's gonna be a lot louder. That's what's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, a lot louder and a lot cooler. Get some earplugs in here. <laughs> no. <laughs> and so what songs are you gonna play for us? We're gonna play New Degrees. It's like our last single. And then we're gonna play, we have a new one we're releasing in like a month or two called Be Your Man. Cool. So it's like a little sneak peek. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. First one's always known as Cowbell Song. It's got the cowbell? Yeah. It's got the cowbell. Well, so like Queens of the Stone Age, you know, kind of. You know, Mississippi Queen, Queens of the Stone Age, they all got it. You yeah. Know. Christopher Walken. Christopher. Christopher Walken. Yeah. Needs more cowbell. <laughs> yeah. No, it's cool. Mm -hmm. It sounds amazing. That's the most recent release, and then you have your new one coming out that you're going to be playing. So that's exciting. Have you been playing that at any other venues? We played it at some shows. Yeah. Um, like the Whiskey. Was that the first show we played it at? Yeah, one of the first, I think. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I think that was the first one we brought it out, and that was fun. Nice. You got to test it out and make sure people don't hate it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a really jumpy song. It's very boots, boots, boots. So at the Whiskey, we're like, oh, we actually have a crowd to jump with it so we're curious if it'd work and we opened with it everybody started <laughs> yeah it, it all worked out yeah that's so interesting so like do you test out your songs that way that for sure no, no yeah. we, i mean we can try but it usually doesn't work out <laughs> you have to have a whiskey crowd to like <laughs> kind of yeah it definitely depends on the show yeah like, yeah exactly right where venues yeah what venues do you guys play it down in orange county so it's mainly like smaller bars clubs things like that um, we played the Grove of Anaheim a couple times. It's by like Angel Stadium. Okay. So that's yeah. like one of the bigger. That's fun sort places. of like a whole outdoor venue type thing. So that one's it's like a amphitheater. It's like a giant warehouse. Cool. Yeah. That's, that's pretty awesome. Cool. Mm -hmm. What was what's like the biggest crowd that you've had so far? Probably the Grove. The Grove. Yeah. It's like twelve hundred, thirteen hundred. Opening up for Striper. Yeah. It has like an eighties Christian metal band <laughs> that we <laughs> opened for. So it's like one of those random. They needed someone to come up and play the first slot so we're like yeah we'll do it and it ended up being a really big crowd and it's yeah. funny playing the van a little different stylistically but that was an yeah. interesting show <laughs> my, my our friends were in the crowd because they want to see our biggest show go down and uh they're standing next to this guy's just jamming out to us right and they're like man this kid's they're all killing it right now and they're like oh yeah we know him you know they're our friends and he goes man I've been drunk for 40 years. And I'm like, that's our demographic right there. It's those weirdos that are going to love us. So if you guys are out there, you know where to go. Yep, those are your fans. That's, yep. that's your fan base. Yep, playing exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow, so you guys have been doing so well. I'm really excited about the new music that's coming out. And, you know, obviously I found you online. Like so many people do these things. Mm -hmm. And you have a manager too. Um, that helps book you on gigs. So how is that like is that is that how you got connected up with the whiskey or other things like that? So it's usually people reaching out to us like promoters and stuff. Yeah, more than us reaching out to them It's a little easier That's that way. That's cool, you know. Well, well, I feel like it happens a lot now because yeah. it's just they need a certain amount of bands for a show So they kind of ask around like we did it so many times where it's like hey, can we play? Can we get you know? Can we keep playing? Please, 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 and no one ever gets back to us. And finally, like we start putting out recordings, and people start asking us, and it's like, hey, that's a nice change. <laughs> when it started to be different was when you started putting out like YouTube videos, or well, what do you when think? we higher quality recordings, because oh. before our stuff was just not there. And then we got on Laguna Beach Radio and a couple of other local stations that started playing us, which helped out a lot. You know, so maybe they heard us through there or something like that. But so having that producer that worked with you guys made a big difference. Just someone to tell us, like, yeah. hey, you're not in tune and also play to the click. And, <laughs> you know, like, you can't be m making mistakes on a recording that's going to be played on the radio a lot. No. So, yeah. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, so, so when, how did you find the producer that you're working with? I love asking all these weird questions. I think online, actually. Yeah. Really? It's just like Googling different studios and then finding like, hey, this guy's recorded some cool stuff, like kind of looking at the selections they've done previously. So, yes, yeah, so you compare to what other music they've For already sure. done. For yeah. sure, Definitely a good way to make sure it's going to sound good. Right yeah, now. and like interest, too, like artists he's worked with. 
before, like the Stone Temple Pilots guys, he's helped out on things before, and we're like, we really like those bands, so it's yeah. like, hey, we should work with this guy, like he'll understand what we're trying to do. That's awesome. Yeah. That totally makes sense, because you kind of remind me of that, like, sound, you know, like Stone Temple Pilots, or Queens of the Stone Age, or I don't know, it's very yeah. much in that genre, which yeah, is super sure. exciting, because I feel like there's a lot of bands out now that are not so, like, meaty with the guitar and the you know stuff like that so it's it's awesome that you're coming out with that kind of style thanks yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes so i know you guys are about to play live for me which i'm super excited about as you can tell i keep saying like amazing and super and fantastic <laughs> but it's true i'm really really happy and i've been doing this show for five years and i've had a lot of bands on the show and i always get to talk to amazing musicians and people that have gone through so many different stories and mm -hmm. you know backgrounds but i haven't gotten to have the band's coming really, like really jam, so I'm really, really excited about that. We're pretty pumped to play too. We don't get to play much, so when we do, it's pretty cool. <laughs> well, I definitely think you're gonna be playing a lot more, especially with the types of gigs you're getting now. And oh, yeah. it's like, I feel like I found like it's a gem, like it's a diamond. This, they're so good, they're so good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I guess we're gonna cut to break and then we're gonna come back and we'll see you guys on the on stage. Awesome. Yeah. Sweet. All right, cool. Thanks for watching the Daphne's. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying my interview with the rock band The Daphne's. Keep watching by clicking here. <laughs>